want to know where the Congress stands. Because the Congress seems to be caught between a rock and hard place. Nationally, you seem to be aligning with Mamta Banerjee or coming closer to her. Within Bengal, Odiranjan uh, Chaudhary is squarely blaming Mamta Banerjee. Do you blame the Tinamul Congress or do you believe the BJP is also responsible for the violence? And where does the Congress stand? Good evening, Rajdeep, and good evening to all your viewers. Firstly, law and order is a state subject. So there is no way that the state government, when we have about 43 people who have been killed in the past, after the elections have been declared, there is no way that the state government can run away from its uh, responsibility. Secondly, I think normalizing violence, accepting mm -hmm. violence by quoting figures from the past has to be stopped. In a civilized society, there cannot be any place for violence, period. Thirdly, when our PCC president, Sri Adi Ranjan Chaudhary, approached the High Court and asked for the poll to happen in different phases, why was it not entertained? When we asked for deployment of central forces, only about 80% of the vote did not have deployment of central forces. So along with the state government and along with the state election commission, I think the central union minister and the home minister also has to answer why the deployment of the central forces were done at the last moment. Why were there no adequate central forces? There was no, we were getting calls from all our district, from our party workers, that about 80% of the vote did not have any presence of central forces. The so central forces, let's be clear to our viewers, ma'am, the central forces were brought in after the courts intervened. Initially, yes, you know, but, there was but a... they were not deployed. So what's the point? If the central forces were brought in, but they were not deployed to the booth, then what purpose was the central forces serving? Number, when we talk about, see, we, for, the, for the national purpose, we are well open to working with like-minded parties. Mm -hmm. But we cannot have any tolerance for violence. There cannot be any space for so violence. So Mamta Banerjee is a like-minded party for you? Of, in today's time and age, when we are having such internet penetration, social media and digital media presence and mainstream media presence, how can you justify the fact that people have to die just for an election to take place? Are we here to serve the people of the nation or are, or is politics, are the people so, supposed to serve the politicians? Right. Okay. You cannot you know, justify violence in today's time and age. And there can be zero I, tolerance for I, violence. I take your point entirely and that really is, is, is the key issue, Riju Datta, because you know, if this violence occurred in a BJP ruled state, opposition parties would be doing a headstand. Now it's happened in Bengal. You're trying to pass the buck saying, where are the central forces? They are deployed by the Home Ministry. The Home Ministry should have looked at central forces. Those forces were only brought in after the courts intervened. Why not accept that the culture of violence that you fought against when the CPIM was in power, now that you are in power, you're using that same cycle of violence or the culture of violence to establish your supremacy in these panchayat elections? We don't, because we, I don't agree to this because we don't need to. Simply because we don't need to. Whether it is India today or whether it is any national channel or any state channel across the board, please refer to the opinion and the exit polls. Why do we need to do violence when we are winning by a mandate of more than 90%? We don't need to. Why will we uh, blame our own selves? Why will we entertain people pointing finger at us? The 41 people have been, been killed, Riju Datta. Whether you like it or not, 41 people have I been know. killed. That doesn't happen we in Panchayat polls in other parts of the country. There is something intrinsically wrong in the manner in which these polls are fought at the local level. The availability yes. of guns, and the I'll availability you, of firearms, exactly. the availability of bombs. I'll tell you the exact reason. On 10th, we had a poll in 61,500 booths. Deaths happened in 50 odd booths, 60,000 booths. There were complete peace and the polling was done. Out of that, out of that, now the, the State Election Commission today repolled almost 700 booths with Central Armed Forces. Is there any report of violence? No. When the Central Armed Forces were there in Bengal, why, could it why were they not deployed day? in Kuchbihar? Where the leader of, uh, where the Lok Sabha MP is the deputy home minister of the country. Where in his home yard, in Hatta, there was 46% non-representation of BJP. These you know, questions is, need to are, be answered. Are, okay, okay, there are questions being raised over the role of Nishit Pramanik, your, your minister of, of home at the center and his role in, uh, in Kuchbihar and North Bengal, uh, Ajay Alok. The fact is... Perhaps the time has come to ensure that all these polls have complete central forces across every booth. That could have been done. The Supreme Court and the High Court did not stop you from doing that. 
Mamta Banerjee didn't stop you from doing that. Let's be fair to Mamta Banerjee on that. Once the central forces came, she said, have them all across Bengal. The central forces were ordered to stand down by Ishtar. The central role no, was... That is your claim. That the is your claim to Mamta was, that Nishit Pramanik Razi, ordered the I central forces to stand down. Yes, Ajay Alok. First of all, it's established, it's established norm all across India. You have been covering elections for, I guess, not less than 30 years now, Rajdeep. That central forces are deployed with the state and it's the, it's the responsibility of the state election commission and the state uh, police officers where to deploy the central forces. It's not the responsibility of the central government. Don't shy away from your responsibility and don't talk big. You have lost the governance, you don't know how to govern. Bhadra Purush of Bengal, one, once time we used to say about the Bengal literacy and Bengal intellectualism, the Bhadra Purush has been replaced by Lungi Purush carrying bum and throwing bum openly. Right? The Ravindra Sangeet is replaced by bum Sangeet. This is what you have done. You have just eroded the cultural ethos of Bengal. Today, just out of your lust for just appeasing someone and to get into the power, you can go to any extent, to go to any length. What is, the, what is happening with the law and order situation? Forget election. What is happening with the law and order situation? The crime against women has risen by more than 15%. How come? What, 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 what is happening with the, uh, the crime against children? It has gone up by 64%. How come? Okay, we... Oh I mean, you know, when the Aadhaar card... We are, we are, we are, we are focused this program on the limited issue of violence How during come? the elections. Let's be honest. I think the, Ms. Chakrabarti put it right. There should be zero tolerance for violence. We can go on with this blame game. It is and, the and shame of Bengal. And if I can Bengal. come very quickly, yes, if I can come in very yes, quickly, yes. if there could be effective deployment of central forces today, then why could the same not happen on the polling day? So the same central Fair forces, exactly. the same state administration could manage to get it right on the day of the polling, then why could it not be done on the day of polling? Why did we have the entire polling in one phase? When we make repeated appeals that let us break it down into multiple phases, even the central government has to answer, does West Bengal not feature in the map of right. India anymore? Okay.